I love that term, yippies. Uh, he made a poster in the 1950s with just two words on it. <coughs> Fuck communism. <coughs> He's the only person in the world ever to win awards from both Playboy and the Feminist Party Media Workshop. So there it is. We'd like to invite Mr. Paul Krasner to the podium. Thank you. Um, I, uh, first, I want to um, quash a rumor that's been going around that uh, the Society for Ethical Culture was founded by Tom DeLay. Uh, <laughs> not true. Um, and uh, I don't know if you saw uh, uh, George Bush's speech today, uh, where he boasted that since 9-11, uh, 10 attacks uh, have been preve prevented uh, uh, by Al-Qaeda, uh, which of course was a signal to Al-Qaeda today, uh, so that if you haven't heard, there is uh, a, uh, a, high, a, a new level of alert, a higher alert on the New York subways. Um, did anybody come by subway today? Uh-huh. Oh, did, did you feel safer because there was a, a green alert or whatever color it was? Um, I think the speech was written by Karen Hughes, uh, who first uh, uh, was the first one to uh, teach Bush that he shouldn't call terrorists folks. Uh, and um, I, um, I, in, in terms of satire, I, you know, it comes from from the contradictions and, and the. Um, hypocrisy and uh, a recent example of that is after uh, Hurricane Katrina the um, well first of all the federal government has always in cases like uh, medical marijuana in California and dying with dignity in Oregon uh, has said well federal law supersedes uh, uh, these state referendums referenda and um, uh, states rights it's not just for racists anymore um, but after Katrina, they uh, started saying, oh, no, no, it's the states, it's the local, uh, because they're just covering their asses. Between the government and the corporations and the military and organized religion, there are so many asses being covered across America now that it looks like a Christo art project. Uh, uh, but... but um, but speaking of medical marijuana is a good example of, of, of the hypocrisy um, because the Partnership for Drug-Free America was funded and founded originally by the alcohol, tobacco, and pharmaceutical companies. And, um, and so, because they don't want any competition because, you know, the... Uh, well, first of all, there are all these commercials on TV for pharmaceutical uh, prescriptions which um, they tell you to ask your doctor uh, if such and such a drug is uh, right for you. I have a list of about 15 prescription drugs now. I save them up because I don't want to keep bothering my doctor. Uh, uh, you know, but, but all of them have side effects that are worse than what they're supposed to uh, cure. So, you know, if you get Lipitor for your cholesterol, one of the side effects, I think, is anal leakage. Um, <laughs> If you, if you have, uh, if you take Prozac for depression, one of the effects is uh, uh, suicidal uh, impulses. Um, my favorite is Provacol, which promises that it will prevent your first heart attack and prevent your second heart attack, which means then that when you have your, your first heart attack, you'll think it's really your third. Um, uh. But they say that, well, medical marijuana, uh, the movement is just to serve as a wedge for, for the decriminalization of all marijuana. And, uh, the, and, and they say, and then, uh, you know, it'll become uh, uh, out of control. Because uh, they're worried, you know. You, uh, High Times Magazine once had a questionnaire. One of the questions was, is it possible to smoke too much pot? And one of the readers sent in, said, he said, I don't understand the question. Uh, but um, as, as, an, as an unbeliever, uh, it's, it's interesting to me to see 
how much killing is done in the name of this deity that I don't believe in. I mean, to me, uh, Walt Disney was an intelligent designer. Uh, incidentally, for those of you who remember the Disneyland Memorial Orgy I published in 1967, uh, it's been digitally, co digitally colored and is available now on my website, paulkrasner.com. Uh, not to be confused with uh, Bush's website, which is crony.com. Um, and so, um, so when you think of the administration, you know, I mean, Bush and, and Cheney, it's, it's long been known that Cheney is a ventriloquist, and, uh, which is why he talks out of the side of his mouth like this. <laughs> Never quite got the craft down. Um, and uh, Donald Rumsfeld, I, I have imaginary dialogues with these people. Um, so I, you know, I would say to Donald Rumsfeld, well, you know, at Guantanamo Bay, um, the prisoners aren't allowed to be in touch with their lawyers, let alone with their families, and they're there in these cages, and they have to spin. And he says, you don't understand. I mean, he always ask questions in himself, you know. Am I a mean-spirited prick? Well, yes, that's a very subjective question, you know. So, um, I said to Rumsfeld, uh, uh, you, you know, how can you call this f uh, uh, freedom when look what you're doing to these prisoners who haven't even been charged with anything specifically? And he said, well, you know, they have more freedom uh, than a lot of people in America. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, they can go to Cuba and you can't. Uh, um, I remember when uh, Bill Clinton was president and he promised that he would uh, end the ban of gays in the military. I don't know why gays would want to be in the military. I don't know why heteros would want to be in the military or transsexuals or uh, bisexuals. But in any case, uh, he was dissuaded from doing it by Colin Powell. Then we had the first African-American head of the uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff and he was saying, uh, the men in the barracks would feel uncomfortable if a gay man slept in the same barracks with them. And now, uh, Colin Powell, of course, came from a military family, so I would say to him, uh, look, General Powell, is, isn't this the same thing they used to say about blacks, that it would make the men in the barracks uncomfortable if a black man slept in the same barracks? And Colin Powell explained, he said, well, we never told anybody we were black. <laughs> and, so, this was the forerunner of the don't ask, don't tell policy. Um, so now, um, you know, with, with um, uh, the terrorist threat, people don't really get into the minds of the terrorists because, um, you know, we've all, aside from any grievances they have, they're promised uh, that uh, as martyrs they'll go to Nirvana and meet 72 virgins and also have orgasms that last 600 years. Uh, it's impossible to conceive. With, with my luck, at 150 years, I would have a premature ejaculation. Uh, damn. Um, but um, it's, it's a matter of... Um, uh, you, by the way, if you watch the news programs, have you noticed that all of these programs have are sponsored by Viagra or, or, or one of those uh, erectile dysfunction drugs. And um, I, I mean, I, I got an erection just from the possibility that Karl Rove might be indicted. Uh, but uh, but I, 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 I'm not boasting now, but I don't have any problems with getting an erection. My only problem is that at my age, I'm afraid that it might be rigor mortis setting in. <laughs> on the installment plan. So um, I'm going to end now because there are others here uh, among us uh, five white geezers uh, um, who have satirical insights to share with. Thank you.